In this video, we're going to consider how to add support for an instruction to a multi-cycle processor. So to start off with, in this particular example, we're going to look at adding support for an OR immediate instruction. And so in an OR immediate instruction, it takes the value from the register RS and ORs it with an immediate value and then stores the result in the register RT. And so we have to consider both what changes this might cause in the data path as well as in the control unit. So we're going to start off with the data path which is shown here. And so for this OR immediate, if you note it's using a zero extended version of the immediate as opposed to a sign extended version. So we need to add some way to create a zero extended version of this immediate. So we're going to add some hardware that is going to be a zero extender and it's going to take in the same 16 bits as was fed into the sign extender we had previously. With this, we now need to be able to feed this value into the ALU to perform the OR operation. And so while we could extend or expand our 4 to 1 multiplexer that's already feeding in source B, I'm instead going to add another MUX that's going to allow us to select between the sign extended or the zero extended version of the immediate value. And so we're going to add a MUX that's going to take either the sign extended version we already had or the zero extended version that we've just added and then we're going to add a control signal that we can so we can select between one of these two values and we will have to appropriately set this control signal and so when z immediate is one we will select the zero extended version of the immediate and otherwise we will select the sign extended version and so this covers the data path and we now need to consider what changes we might need to the control side and this could be both the control for the alu as well as the overall control and our finite state machine for the multi-cycle processor. So we're going to start by looking at the ALU control. So for the OR immediate, we want to perform an OR operation. And our ALU already supports performing an OR operation. But currently, our ALU control unit will only select an OR operation based off of a, the function field for an R-type instruction. And since an OR immediate is an I-type instruction, we need to add some way to make the ALU op 2-bit field select an OR operation. And so we're going to add another entry, which is going to use the unused 1-1 ALU op uh, value to select the OR operation of 001. And we're going to update the other fields to specify or to replace the don't cares with explicit values of either 10 or 01. This covers the ALU control portion. We now need to look at our finite state machine for the broader control units. The OR immediate instruction is similar in many ways to in the add immediate instruction, which we already have support for, except for the fact that it needs to make use of the zero extended value and has a different opcode. And so we're going to add another state similar to the add immediate state, but this state is going to be entered for an OR immediate instruction. Then within this, we need to set the values for a number of fields. Many of these are going to be similar to what is in the add immediate instruction. So for the OR immediate, we're still going to be using the same source A and source B. So we'll set those to the same, to the same value as for the add immediate. But in this case, we want to use an ALU op of 1, 1, which we just added to perform the OR operation. And we also want to set the zero immediate value that we added to 1. So we use the zero extended version. And in the add immediate, we want to set that zero immediate control value to zero, so we use the sign extended version we have in the past. And then finally, once we're done out of this state, we need to continue and write back our results. And the write back for the OR immediate is the same for the as the add immediate, so we can just use the state that we already have, and that will complete the addition of the OR immediate instruction to our multi-cycle processor.